As a 3D and VFX artist, probably sometime you thought about adding muscle system to your character after the animation. Why not? It will add extra realism to your animation, you see? That's cool, honestly. But having said that, we talked about muscle system before in Houdini, but lately I figured out they have tissue pass and skin pass. And that was interesting. And this is underrated, honestly. No one talk about that more often. So in this video, I will tell you what the heck is tissue pass and skin pass. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. Welcome to my channel. And I hope you're doing well, honestly. So before I begin, let me thank these amazing people joining us from around the world. Thank you guys, I'm so grateful. And you guys watching this video with your beautiful eyes. Thank you for that. And I must admit, honestly, this channel is nothing without you, to be honest. So I'm like you guys, I'm trying to make things better and better in every day. So thank you for that, honestly. <laughs> So, the first question, why we need a muscle system? Yeah, you see that? This jiggly stuff, that's why you need it, honestly. It will add extra layer of realism to your animation. And at the first step, we did a muscle system using basic vellum tetrahedral constraint. You can see it in this video, honestly. So that was the first journey of our muscle system. And this is amazing if you want just jiggle stuff. But the problem is, it's not ending there. So it turns out muscles, it's not about jiggle stuff only. It's have flexing stuff, how you can flex the muscle or activate this flex. The stiffness, muscle property like bending, sliding, blah, blah, blah. So it's more than jiggle stuff. So side effects have a cool document page about muscle workflow. It's advanced version. But in this video, I want to simplify the muscle system for you. So let's begin. So as we said before, we need three pass or three phase operation. First, it's muscle pass, as you can see, and we have tissue pass and we have skin pass. So we need to deal with these three passes if you want a decent muscle uh, system in your character. So first, let's go to the muscle pass. In order to have a muscle simulation, first, if you have this character, we need a bone geometry. And after that, we need a muscle geometry. So this is a lot, honestly. But I must admit, the proper and advanced way, it's that. You need these three components. Of course, you need flexing system. But the problem is, I am trying to simplify uh, this version of muscle. So how we can replace this bone? I don't have any bone geometry. So we replace it with this bone skeleton. And how we can replace this muscle geometry? Turns out we have a Franken muscle in a lately version of Houdini. You can paint your muscle and it will act like a muscle. And for flexing, it have an amazing flex system here. As you can see, you can draw a line and based on that line, you can determine the muscle is flexing or not. And all these uh, amazing topic we cover in this tutorial, as you can see, you can watch it, of course. So, so far, so good. If you like this kind of video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Thank you in advance. So what the heck is tissue pass? As you can see, tissue pass, it's a filler layer of tetrahedra that surround the muscle geometry, as you can see. It's have this sliding uh, amazing stuff and it's have two component, the core layer and tissue layer. As you can see in this picture, we have the blue one as a core layer between the muscle and we have the green one as a tissue layer that's cool honestly and to set up that in houdini it's very simple 
you have a tissue solidify to create a core and tissue layer it will take the geometry of your character static geometry and of course you have tissue property and tissue solver and in this tutorial as you can see along these guys we talk about how you can set up this uh, three node and the issue and the tip and trick and if you're interesting of course you can join them and watch this video so as you can see tissue pass it's so necessary for the amazing muscle effect because it will go around the muscle and have this sliding effect it's have this jiggly effect and side effects said the tissue pass it's amazing and crucial if you want this amazing stuff you can go with the tissue pass but what about skin pass so based on the documentation of side effects they said skin pass will add more detail and extra layer of wrinkle and sliding and this amazing stuff so they said use this if you want more detail because this is so heavy operation it will calculate step by step so use that if you want more detail otherwise the tissue pass its end goal for you based on the documentation and the skin pass of course they have two layer skin surface your geometry and skin solid that's tetrahedral in inner mesh okay so if you want to use it of course it's similar to tissue pass setup uh, and they have skin solidify uh, it will it will it will take your geometry and it will create these uh, two layer the skin surface and skin solid and it's have skin property like tissue property and we have skin solver like tissue solver so the setup is similar honestly and if you're interested of course how you can set up them and the, the tip and trick we talk about that in this tutorial for these guys in an ex exclusive tutorial and yeah it's very awesome and as you can see this is the result and we did similar to that honestly so here you go i tried to make this video short as possible just i want to uh, tell you about the foundation of muscle system in 3d or houdini so with that see you in the next one goodbye